Penny, have your honor guard post the colors. Aye, sir. Color guard, post colors. All stand, please. serving and will serve in the future. freedom comes at a cost and pray that we can pursue peace. We hope someday we celebrate Memorial Day as just a memory of the time before we started living in a peaceful existence you attended us since the beginning of creation. Let us turn to you, O Lord, in our grief and in our remembrance of the following. Guide us towards our harmonious existence as we honor those who are willing to give up their lives so that we may gather here today freely. On this Memorial Day, we pray for peace and for those who gave all. Lead us toward a world where no one must give up their lives in pursuit of freedom. May we be receptive to your guidance and may we never forget the fallen. Amen. Amen. Cover.
Before we begin our program, I would like to acknowledge our branches of service. As I call off each branch of service, I would like the veteran and their family to stand and give a respectable shout of hoorah in, in their honor. When I call out the branch of service, let's hear the Army. Stand up, please. Hoorah. Very good. Air Force. Remain standing, please. Hoorah! 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 Marines. Hoorah! Navy. Hoorah! Coast Guard. Hoorah! Merchant Marines. Hoorah! And lately, our Space Force. Hoorah! Be seated and thank you. Army Air Corps. <laughs> Very good. To our honored military dead who made the supreme sacrifice with their lives for our country, to our military veterans and to our military men and women who are now serving. Our municipal, state, and local officials. To Chris Barnett, our Orion Township super wonderful supervisor. To the Orion Veterans Memorial Board of Directors and fellow American patriots such as those of you who came today. We gather here today on the most important of all legal holidays, Memorial Day. Today we honor all service men and women who died in the defense of our country. Memorial Day is unique among American holidays. We do not honor a particular date or event, or a battle or the end of a war. On Memorial Day, we do not honor an individual leader such as a president or a general. On Memorial Day, we do honor over 1.1 million American men and women who gave their lives while defending our country from the days of George Washington in 1776 to the present. We live in a land of freedoms and liberties purchased at a very high price. Lest we forget, I say that again, lest we forget those famous words of the American Legion, that their sacrifices are meaningless if we do not remember them. Our gathering here today is a living testament of what we as American patriots should be doing on this Memorial Day. Today, let us highly resolve that our soldiers did not die in vain for our nation that our government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from this earth. Thank you. Lieutenant Colonel Cynthia Rice, please step forward. to be speaking with you today and I want to start by thanking you all for being here you're a very small percentage of Americans about five percent that will actually take the time out of their day to honor those that had died for most Americans the, the last Monday in May is start of the summer season and the time with family and friends to have fun However, for many of us, this day is a remembrance of the military family members that we had, the friends or comrades that gave their lives for our nation. At the core of our military lies some very unique themes. The selfless desire to serve something greater than yourselves 
and the willingness to give your life for another, for our country. Memorial Day first observed 155 years ago and was called Decoration Day at that time. The name has changed, but certainly the intent has not. It's a day all Americans should take a moment out of their day to honor the more than 1.1 million men and women who made this act ultimate sacrifice for our country. The majority of those that had died, the 1.1 million, were certainly men. But I wanted to mention that women have been killed in every conflict or war since the Civil War. And since 9-11 and the global war on terrorism, 160 women have died in combat in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Syria. And I think that's a fact that gets nobody knows about. So how do we pay tribute to those in memory that died for us? I believe to truly honor those that have died, we need to share their stories, share who they were, what they believed in. And there's so many stories. There's 2,000 bricks here that have names on them. Each one of those bricks has a story. But with the permission of the family, I'd like to share the story of three local young men who gave their lives for you and me and our country. Marine Staff Sergeant Raymond Powler was killed by a roadside bomb in Iraq 2006, just 38 days before his duty tour was to end. He was a Marine for a third of his life and he had always dreamed of being in the military. He was a stern-faced sniper but a soft-hearted Marine who gave candy to the Iraqi children. He was a warrior that wrote poetry about life and death. He grew, Raymond grew up here in Lake Orion and he has family members still here today and they're with us today. Army Specialist Brian Forty was just five months out of boot camp. He was a baby. When he along with two other soldiers were captured by what they now know was ISIS when his eight-member combat team was ambushed in Iraq in 2007. After 15 very long months of not knowing if he was alive or where he was, Byron's remains were found in a shallow grave and returned home in July of 2008. Byron went to Iraq to help those who couldn't help themselves. He was a tough but kind man. He loved beef jerky and he loved the Detroit Red Wings. Brian went to Oxford Elementary and his stepdad is one of my neighbors. Marine Sergeant Trevor Blaylock died in 2015 when his Black Hawk helicopter crashed during a training mission. During his nine years in the Marines, Trevor served two tours in Iraq, one in Afghanistan, and was serving in the Marine Special Operations Command Marine Raiders when he was killed. Trevor loved being a Marine. He loved doing what he was doing. He loved the people he was doing it with. He was a jokester, a prankster, and I had a word had a way with his words. He is remembered for the love of his family, his military family, and his country. Trevor grew up here in Lake Orion too and still has family members here. In the military I found I had a second family, especially when you're deployed, that what, what happened to one happened to all of us. I saw that the cost of war was more than the lives that were lost, but in the, also in the lives of the broken hearts that are left behind. The wives, husbands, the sons and daughters, the moms and dads, the brothers and sisters, all who live with a hole in their heart and have so many unfulfilled dreams for their loved ones. For them, they live with the loss every day. And all of us here would like to express our deepest gratitude to our Gold Star families here today 
and ask if you would please stand so we could honor you. Thank you. We do honor and thank you, hon. So many amazing, talented, smart, courageous men and women with incredible stories have died for us, for our freedoms. We do owe it to them to be as good as possible, to make whatever we're doing, wherever we're doing it, better today than it was yesterday. To be a stronger nation and a kinder community and to honor a debt that we can never repay. May God hold those that have died for us and their families in the palm of his hand. And may he continue to bless the United States of America and all those in service to her. Please never forget. Thank you. Next we have our Veteran of the Year, Bob Mahan. My pleasure. You were born in Pontiac, Michigan, and you went to Lake Orion High School, and you enlisted in the United States Navy. After that, you went to recruit training of Great Lakes Naval Training Center, and you attended school at Great Lakes Propulsion Engineering and trained to become a boiler technician. You were assigned sea duty at, on USS Samuel Gompers. At that time, he completed nine month deployment to the Philippines, including Da Nang Harbor, South, Korea, South Vietnam. You, he was transferred to USS Waddell for a six month Westpac deployment, and you completed another six month Westpac deployment, with, which included participation in Operation N-Sweep in Haiphong Harbor, North Vietnam. You also went to various ports in Hawaii, Japan, Philippines, Hong Kong, Australia, Guam, Midway, and Taiwan. While serving our country, you rose to the rank of E-5 Boiler Technician, second class, and was in charge of the after room on USS Waddell, a guided missile destroyer. Bob, it is with my pleasure, and I know I speak for the rest of us, to present you with this certificate of appreciation, and God bless you. was a senior in high school I discovered that I wasn't ready to do anything with my life and I thought I'd take on going to the United States Navy so after spending uh, six years in active and inactive duty in the Navy I come home I buried my wife Cindy Del Rio and then I had a couple of children Rachel and Rita, and then I had a couple grandchildren from them, Cash and Reagan. So after they went off and uh, started doing their own thing after college and everything, I started having a low in my life. I needed something else to do. So a friend of mine from grade school, I met her, Roberta Salisbury. She said, do you ever think of joining the VFW? And of course I wasn't I didn't even know what the VFW was, I, even though I was a veteran of foreign wars. So after some pondering, I decided to join the VFW. I've been serving them now for about five years as the junior vice commander. 
and I plan on doing that as long as I can. I feel that when we take our uh, oath of office, oath of, uh, for the United States military, I looked it up and it said that there is there is no time limit on that. So I feel I should be here serving my uh, fellow fellow veterans. Uh, our motto was we we serve the. We honor their debt by serving the living, the ones that are under your feet right here in this memorial. And I thank you for that. And I'm going to be serving our community to make it a better place to live in. Thank you for this honor. Next on our program is our wonderful Orion Township Supervisor, Chris Barnett. Chris? Good afternoon, everyone. It's my pleasure to be here today. Uh, we started early. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, but Dr. Mastermatero asked me to just talk for a minute or two about what makes America great. And what makes America great is people like Bob Mahan. Bob, um, yeah, let's give him another round of applause. We go, we go way back. I went to school with his daughters. Um, but I haven't been to an event in the last five years that I haven't seen Bob and the rest of these men and women uh, serving and representing uh, our community with pride and dignity. Uh, this week had a really unique opportunity to host the ambassador to Poland and our U.S. congressperson for a pontoon ride on Lake Orion. It wasn't really anything I thought I'd ever do, but uh, I did. Uh, it was a really interesting and unique experience to, to hear um, what someone like a foreign dignitary in a very important position in his country thinks about uh, who we are as Americans. And uh, what he had to say were not a lot of words, uh, but th they have a friend in America. We are a strong ally. Our country and our people rush to conflict to help others. That's what we're known for. And our community is also known for the same things. Uh, when there's local conflict, when there's local tragedy, uh, our community rushed to Oxford to support them. Uh, I'm so proud to serve this community. I, I love the job I have because I get to work with amazing men and women uh, that are behind, this, behind me on the stage, but also out there. Each one of you is taking time from your day to not start your barbecue season, and hopefully you will do that later, but we're taking a little bit of time today to first remember. And that's what today is about. We remember all, every single name that's on every single one of these blocks, every single one of these memorials, every one of these statues. Just this memorial itself, thousands and thousands and thousands of hours have been donated so that we can have a place like this that we can remember. And I look across the street at our first responders, who I know were out late last night uh, serving our community are here today uh, to again show that we remember. And then this morning, we had our seventh annual Memorial Day 5K that started with an idea at one of our uh, Veterans Memorial Board meetings eight years ago. This is our seventh year of doing it. And with just a, a handful of volunteers, we had 415, 415 people that ran and walked uh, in American flags but we took an opportunity to educate them. We saw families, we saw young people, we saw old people, we saw veterans of all ages uh, out there taking a little bit of time this morning to remember. And their impact will have lasting, their, their, their efforts this morning will have a lasting impact on this memorial. We raised over $10,000 in that race today. Thanks to the generosity of many of the folks that are here. Hey, by the way, any, any of the people that ran today here? There's a couple. All right, there's a couple. The rest of them are resting. Thank you. Uh, but we, we remember. And I'm so proud to be an American. I'm so proud to be an Orion resident. And I'm so proud to be part of this amazing memorial. So thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for taking time to remember. Thank you, Chris, very much. We will now have the placing of the wreath, Lieutenant Colonel Cynthia Wright.
We will now honor those veterans who made the supreme sacrifice. Honoring those that paid the ultimate sacrifice in the Civil War, Thomas M. Bowers. Daniel Burton, Roswell Campbell, Henry C. Fairchild, Hiram Hemingway, Webster Adolphus Marsh, William A. Churchill, Eugene L. Rose, Charles Soper, Frank Thornley. Now recognizing those from World War I. Otis C. Brewster, Newell Thomas Charlton, Vern E. Holland. We'll now take time to recognize World War II. Laverne H. Becker. J.B. Burns. Chester C. Campbell. Lee F. Carpenter. Clarence Albert Decker. Robert Leland Decker, Erwin D. Drew, Roger H. Fibicorn, Bernard A. Kowalk, Eugene A. Kane, Martin F. Lambert, Julian C. or Julian E. Moore, Charles J. Pippins, Everett Pickingham, Arthur F. Summers, Donald R. Silva, Alan B. Shrew, Walker F. Walker. We will now have the Korean vets who sacrificed their lives for us. James Crossman, Charles Daly, Ernest C. Peeblecorn, Edward Wilson Ehrlich, Harry Pacer. We will now go to the Vietnam veterans. Raymond I. Whipley, John A. Wood, Operation Freedom, Raymond J. Holwar, Operation Enduring Freedom, Trevor Blaylock. That will be it. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jim Oxwell, and I am the commander of Post 233, Lake Orion, Michigan been around this part of the country since 1947, so thanks all of you guys for being here, by golly. Now this is uh, our comrades deceased starting December 19th, 2022. Dick White, Lauren Schmidt, Rick Goodwell, James W. Wright, Henry Bud Rickman, Michael Ernest Racer, Ronald Schroeder, Tom Fluent, Daryl Enneking, Bruce Downey Sr., Charles McCall, Mark Livingston, Bill Santa Maria, 
Mark Lauer, Scott Barwick, James Downey Sr., Michael Sweeney, Raymond Brunig, William Reading, Bruce Fritz, Gary Bugner, Michael Shagney, and recently Mr. Richard Hamblin. That's all. Thank you, folks. Kathy McMinn would lead us in God Bless America. served that comes in the fall. This one is to honor of those who paid in life and blood, whose mom never saw them again, whose dad wept in private, whose wife raised the kids alone, and whose kids only remembered them for pictures. This isn't simply a day off. This is a day to remember those men and women who paid for every free breath we take. This is freedom. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for having brought us together to pay tribute to those who lost their lives defending their nation. May their souls live on in your gracious presence and may they experience the full measure of your love and mercy. We also ask that you guide us and make us worthy of the sacrifices from which we have benefited. We pray that we never forget how blessed we truly are as a nation, as a people, and as your children. Let us go in peace. Amen. Amen. We next have VFW 334 on the guard, Captain Petty. Everybody, Everybody stand, stand, stand.
Captain Petty, retire the colors. Color guard retreat colors. completes our ceremony and I wish to thank all of us for being here. God bless America. Woo!